Look how dark and dim it is. I mean, why is it so dark? It's a lot darker than it should be. Why is it so dark? I just can't get round this. And indeed, the sun, this object that we've got, this reflector, is showing a dark shadow on the land. That our skies are indeed being covered up by these chemtrails. Look again at the 10 a.m. skies. Now, I speak to um, three emails to people to try and catch the 10 a.m. skies. Seeing the, uh, the area of the sun, but it's dimming. You can see that clearly, can't you? Good morning all. It's 9.55 GMT. And we're taking pictures of the sun to see if the uh, bloody thing dims, which we know it doesn't. So, hello Matt. This is just for you. It's getting too dark over there. And indeed, around 10 a.m., you will start to see the skies become darker. Now let's move to another image. And here we are, folks. Pictures of the sun, time lapsed, taken every two minutes from 9.55 to 10.36. And other than some clearly apparent cloud just wandering into shot across the sun, it didn't dim at all. If you look to the top left, you can see the settings of my camera and they don't change. So I haven't tried to fiddle anything to make um, the daylight constant if the sun was dimming. So dear old Matt, who doesn't understand how cameras work, and obviously a swathe of his subs don't understand how camera optics work and why they get dark skies when you're pointing something right at the bloody sun. I mean, it's not like your camera will try and compensate or anything, is it? And if you're stood in the shadow side of an object, well, it will be a bit darker anyway. You really need to get a grip. Pillock. It's dark. It's very They're dark. They're producing this to hide and cover up the dimming of the sun, the dark shadows in the skies as well. And here we go. Lovely blue skies today, Matt. A few airplanes up in the sky, nowhere near the sun. Gosh, you can even hear birds singing. I thought they were all dead. And look at that. Lovely blue sky. And there. Be the sun map overloading my CCD sensor. Have you managed to work that shit out yet? The thing is, though, people are dumbed down because they're not looking up. They're just carrying on. And yet here I am, Matt, with the telescope, with the camera attached to it. Um, I appear to be looking up. I appear to be able to find that you're talking utter shite. And then, of course, I'm not the only person with a telescope. Or indeed, with a camera they know how to set up properly to take shots of the sky. So you don't end up with stupid anomalies. You really are chatting rubbish, aren't you? Stupid boy. Look how dark it is. It's getting too dark over there. Look Look how dark it's got there. Very dark. It's too dark. Very, very dark. It just looks too dark. It's very, very dark. Look how dark it is. Come on. Look how dark it is. Look how dark it is. I mean, look at it. It's so dark. Look at the darkness on the ground. Look how dark it is. Look at the darkness. Okay, look how dark it is. Very, very dark. It's so dark. Look at the darkness of everything that's going on. Look how dark and dim it is. I mean, why is it so dark? It's a lot darker than it should be. Why is it so dark? I just can't get round this. It's dark. It's very dark. With the... Shut up, Matt. You're not coming out of that box until you learn to be a decent human being. Now grow up and shut up.